Quest Pro is the anticipated VR headset from Meta announced in recent Kinect 2022. The product is going to be available from October 25th. The recent videos from Meta's YouTube channel show a sleek design of the headset with better specifications than the company's highly praised Quest 2. This also comes with an around 3.5 times higher price tag than the Quest 2, rounding up to $1,500. You can buy a few other wonderful tech devices with this amount that can actually be useful. Still, why would people buy Quest Pro instead? Or will they even buy it? Meta has come into being only last year with the hope of introducing Metaverse, where people can connect through augmented reality and VR devices. The technology will allow the users to create a virtual space and explore with friends and families. In theory, the metaverse seems the future of technology, communication, and entertainment. To help people experience metaverse more accurately, Meta is going to launch Quest Pro headsets that come with controllers to help users with better movement in augmented reality. Quest 2 headsets from Meta were launched in 2020. This has dominated the market with 90% of the market share in the first three months of 2022, when the overall growth of the market was 241.6% in the same period. The price of this headset is around $400. The affordability and similarly usefulness of this headset have made it popular among gamers. Meta's Quest Pro is completely different in both the software and hardware of the headset. The processor is XR2 Plus with a memory of 12GB. The storage of the headset is 256GB. The screen has an 1800 by 1920 pixels per glass with a 90Hz refresh rate. However, it does not contain a high-definition screen and it weighs around 722 grams. The headset also has an inward camera to examine the facial expression of the users that can be reflected in their avatar to make the experience more real-like. The lenses of the headset contain an optical stack and have several layers of thin pancake lenses. Users will have a view with sharper color and better contrast with the Quantum Dot technology. The sleek design, along with straps and vision blockers, gives proper finishing to its already high-quality hardware combination. As a bonus, Quest Pro includes a new controller with updated features. The controllers will have sensors that enable tracking positions in the virtual space. These have rechargeable batteries and better haptic technology that responds better to the touches. So far, the features seem amazing and truly explorable. But two things that can block the urge to purchase this headset without consideration. They are the battery life and price. The battery life of Quest Pro is frustrating, but the highest two hours lasting capability. To top it off, the recharging period is almost two hours and the battery is not swappable. So if you're planning to sit for a long AR quarterly meeting with your coworkers, you should rethink your decision of using Quest Pro. The issue with the battery could be overlooked if not for the added price tag of $1,500. Gamers can build a moderately satisfying gaming setup with a good controller, monitor, GPU, console, and others with this amount of cost. Meta is very confident about the use of Quest Pro for better office meetings and prototypes. But are companies willing to spend $1,500 per employee to set up a virtual space? Just after the announcement of Quest Pro with all of its features and price, there is a big debate riled up upon whether purchasing Quest Pro is going to be a waste of money. The price is without any doubt beyond the reach of many, no matter if they are enthusiastic about the headset. However, the target of Meta should also be understood at this point. Quest Pro is simply not for gaming, at least for now. The company aims to make the headset commercialized for businesses and enterprises. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg straightforwardly segments the target users as people like architects, engineers, builders, creators, and designers. Although, if we look at tech history, the most accessible devices we use now were developed primarily for professionals and militaries. So, maybe Quest Pro would be affordable to general users after some years too. Now, the question arises whether the target customers are going to be interested in Quest Pro. Well, the offerings of Quest Pro are nothing to be ignored. Corporate professionals can not only meet in a virtual setup with their avatars, but also experience a more elaborate setting where the use of Microsoft tools is enabled. Also, with the option of creating a virtual space is liking, Quest Pro allows companies to set better environments for meetings in the Horizon workroom. Besides this, users can make 3D designs, prototypes, and models with the option to test their usability. Simulation training is also possible with this headset. 
You can also join your friends and family for a fun hangout or binge video watching on YouTube as Meta plans to collaborate with YouTube in the coming days. The Metaverse technology along with the VR devices like Quest Pro used for experiencing virtual space is yet to be familiar among people. Demand for Metaverse is not adding up to the cost of developing it, but this can definitely change in the future. People are open to advanced technology as long as it is accessible, affordable, and truly useful for personal interests. Quest Pro has so many amazing things to offer. The success of Quest 2 also can hint that people might still want to buy Quest Pro. Professional meetings can be held from anywhere with an expanded workspace, 3D prototypes can be built, and simulation training can be provided. So purchasing Quest Pro might not completely go to waste if the users can make the best use of the technology. But with so many cheaper VR headsets with longer battery life like HTC and Magic Leap available, the commercial success of Quest Pro is still questioned. So to answer the title question, Quest Pro will not be a waste project for big companies concerned with architecture and design if used properly. Companies might not purchase one headset per employee, but they can make better decisions and products with a few ones to arrange a small-scale meeting with a few people. Quest Pro can also be purchased by highly enthusiastic tech people who have the money, of course. But the economic crisis all over the world with rising inflation and costs, coupled with low demand for VR headsets by corporations, can lower the sales volume than expected.